Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now part of the pure enjoyment of dog ownership for me is bringing my dog out into the wilderness. When we started looking for a dog, my wife made some suggestions. She knew I wanted a dog that could really hang in the outdoors, going deep into the mountains, and really being a great fit for my lifestyle. And so we ended up with an Australian Shepherd, which I absolutely love. And the one thing I didn't see coming was the fact that she is literally completely drawn to the water. I don't care if it's a clean pond, I don't care if it's a scuzzy swamp or a mud puddle, she is drawn to the water and goes straight into it literally every single time I bring her out into the wilderness with me. Here you go. Good girl. Come on. And so needless to say, that pretty much has been trashing my truck. Now, not that it's a new truck, but think about it. Bottom line is, even if it's an older vehicle, it doesn't matter. You have human beings that then need to sit in the seats. And well, if I have scuzzy mud puddle dog sitting on my seats, that means I have the remains of scuzzy activities on, well, my good clothes. And especially if I'm trying to go someplace where I'm trying to look a little bit presentable, that just doesn't quite work. But today we are able to somewhat fix that, which is awesome. So here from four canines, a couple of different products here. So here I have a split bench protector with hammock. So a split rear seat cover. Um, this is made for a full size truck. I have a Ram. This is going to fit in there nicely. And then they say with hammock. So it also has a little bit of a, a hammock that sort of swings over the floor. And then some door panels. So let's just say you wanted to protect the door as well. You have a system here. Now, first and foremost, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at 4K9s who did provide these for review. But for me, this is going to be absolutely instrumental in protecting my truck and my own personal clothing. And so what we're going to do, we're going to get into this in detail. I'm going to get this outfit into the truck. I'm going to bring my dog outside. She's probably going to hone in on those scuzzy puddles. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at 4K9s who did provide these products for review. And so keep in mind, as we get into this, there are a couple of different sizes. There are different colors. And this one here, again, this is the XL, so the extra large, fitting a full-size truck. Again, I have a Ram 1500. It's actually a 2011, so a little bit older. I do not have split seats, but this is made for split seats. Now, you can see here a very nice color. This is in a camo pattern. If you've been watching my channel, anything in a black multicam style pattern is my jam so when i saw this i knew it would fit my style perfectly now unfortunately they don't have the sort of camo pattern for the door panels so i did just opt for straight black now in terms of the actual uh seat cover and hammock itself you can get this in black you can get it in gray and again in this case the camo which i greatly enjoy now as we take a look at the overall dimensions this is basically 60 inches wide for the extra large if you had the regular size it would be more like 54 inches wide. Both of these having a 22 inch back, 18 inch depth along the bench, and then a 24 inch hammock, which hangs down over the front of the seats, or you can kind of loop it up and attach it to the front seat headrest. Now at an initial glimpse, this appears to be a type of nylon. I'm not gonna say like a, you know, a Cordura, but just a, you know, heavy duty nylon, very nice, good and thick, and it is washable. So it does have a waterproof treatment on it. So it should be nice and resilient for the mud and the different debris that, kind of piles up. I'm hoping you'll be able to kind of brush this off. In worst case, you can wash it, which I think should work pretty well. So at this point, you can see this. I'm going to get outside and get this installed into my truck. Then we'll take a closer look at the door panels. And so now as we get into this again, this is a Dodge Ram 1500. So just taking this and spreading this out. Now you will have to orient this in the proper direction, opening it up here. You can see this does have a rubberized underside, so that's nice, a little bit of grip. 
And as I start to spread this out again, remember this is actually designed for split seats. Now I have a solid bench all the way across, so the split seats doesn't really come into uh, really play for me. However, obviously I wanna keep this oriented the right direction. So as I kind of get this into place here, everything's going to fall right where it needs to with the headrest straps here, basically on each side. Now I'm not gonna go too tight just yet so I can get everything positioned the way I need, but this is pretty straightforward. Just getting the head straps around the backside. For me, it's actually easier if I just keep these clipped and loop them over and into place. I don't have much room behind my headrest in the actual glass. And so again, as you can see here, these buckles, again, you can take these apart if you need to. I'm just basically gonna loop this over the top of the headrest. And so now with everything roughly in place, there are some zippers. Now these zippers and Velcroed areas, again, do allow this for the bench to sort of split. Now I'm gonna get my seat belt exposed and out here. So you can still technically sit in here if you want. Now I probably, uh, it's gonna be hard to say whether or not I have people back here with this in place, but I might. And then for the buckle itself, you actually undo the Velcro. So there's a Velcro seam running all the way down, opening that up, exposing my actual buckle here. And now that is accessible. So it's a little hard for you to see, but that's right here. And I can now use my belts. Now at this point, I'm gonna to start to cinch up just a little bit on some of the webbing, getting this sort of firm and into place exactly where I need it. And you can see it is exactly the perfect size to fit here with the seam, the exact height for the back side of the seats. And so now with everything nicely in place, the other thing worth noting, this has a little bit of a side panel here, which kind of helps to keep the side of the seats clean as well. So with everything nicely in place at this point, I'm gonna to start to hang the hammock. Now keep in mind the fact that again, that does come off the front seat headrests. I already kind of have a little bit of a protector here, but I'm gonna hang the hammock just for the demonstration. And again, this is very straightforward. I'm basically just gonna take the loop, hang it over the headrest. And at this point, I can kind of cinch up this as I need. You can see it does go fairly tight and it does a nice job. Now one thing that I'm going to point out that I greatly like is the fact that all the stress points are box stitched. I think that's going to be a big deal because there will be and has the potential to be some weight here. And the other thing is well now I'm going to potentially move the front seats and forget that this is attached which could possibly stress on this a little bit but the fact that it's box stitched very nice. And so just finalizing here, very simple. So the installation, very easy. The hammock, nice. And you can see just a wonderful and beautiful space for my pup. And so now that I've installed the actual seat cover, taking a look at the door panels. Again, very simple. And at an initial glimpse, you can see it actually looks like it has, they're calling it a double coated tissue tape. But in reality, you probably need to get these little Velcro strips installed in some strategic locations and then these tabs. So I'm going to take a quick look at this setup and then we'll get it installed into the truck. But before we do that real quick on the back side, a little bit of a texture, a little bit of a rubberized grip. And then on the front here, again, this is the black. You can see in all cases, everything's reasonably well done. Sort of a quilted pattern and then a round, nicely trimmed out. Everything on this, very nicely trimmed. So generally speaking, I like the construction. It's just a matter of how it fits. So let's take a look. Now my vehicle is not nearly nice enough to need to protect the doors. However, if you did want to protect them, basically you use these tabs, slide it down between the glass and your trim, and that goes right inside. If you needed to, you can leverage all of this Velcro. I probably won't do that. So I'm literally just going to slip this down and into place, which is not terribly difficult. In fact, it literally only takes a mere matter of seconds. And now I have myself a door protector. So very simple and effective. And again here on the other side. So again, just sliding this right in between the glass. I like that. It's so easy. You can still get under, get to your handles, 
no problem, but that's gonna protect us, keep things from getting scratched from dog nails, keep it from getting muddy. It's pretty good, I like this. And so now as we get a look on the inside, again, very simple, very nicely done. I love the camo, you can access the belts, which is nice, all the buckles, no problem. The door protectors, you can see, they do maybe pop out just a little bit. That's the reason for the Velcro. And again, you can get black, you can get gray in the door panels. You just can't get the camo, but I love the camo look. And now the back of my truck, fully prepared for my pup. What are you doing, little dog? You finding your mud puddles? Hmm? Pretty much. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Let's go. Come on. You wanna come? Come on. Oh, there's no getting. Come on. This way. Yep. With us. I don't want her down in that one. Come on. You can't keep walking. What'd you do? What'd you do there, little swampy? Come see me. Nope, we're going this way. Come on. Okay, we're leaving. Yep. Yep, there you go. That was all in. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, okay. Hey, little swamp dog. What are you doing? Okay. Okay, I see what you're doing. Go ahead. Be careful. You gonna go? You can go in. Go ahead. Go swamp. Yep. Go ahead. Try it. Yeah. This way. Yep. There you go. Yep. You little nut. Do again? Go ahead. You can go. Go. Go ahead. This way? Do you want me to throw a stick? No, I'll just, well, if she's gonna go. All right, back this way. Come on. This way. Luna, Luna, come. Hey. This way, let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Nope. 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 This way, we're leaving. Come on. Come on. Luna, come. Come. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep. Good girl. Oh my. Yep. Come on. Oh, she's gonna That see. was a risk. She's gonna smell. This way, let's go. Oh my. You, you have no idea what you're doing, you little swampy. Look oh at this God. thing. <laughs> that is gross, dog. You're all covered in like prickly things. We gotta get all these off of you now, you little crazy animal. Swamp dog. Yeah. Luna, you ready, little swamp dog? Where's the truck? Where's the truck? You gonna put her in? No. no. <laughs> who, who, who's gonna put her in? I guess I will. <laughs> I, I could put her in. No, I will. You gonna put her in, little swamp dog? Oh, man. Now is the moment of truth. Come on, little swamp dog. Can you, like, climb in yourself, maybe? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Let me see your shirt. Ew. Nice. Hi. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? That's a good girl. How do you smell? 
Hmm? What do you think? She's like, what did I do? How do you smell, dog? Guess what? It's time for a bath. Did you have fun? Ew. So gross. You ready for tubby, swamp dog? Oh, yes. Let's do tubbies. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. We do a tub? Good girl. Oh, my little swamp dog. You wish you were still in the swamps, don't you? And so now, after a ride home with Swamp Dog. Now, of course, you can see some dirt. I actually did get on my buckles. Not a big deal. And generally speaking, I mean, all of this dirt that you see would have been embedded in my seats. But as I take a look here, it is mostly surface level. And given how wet the dog was, this is literally not wet at all in fact i'm going to check this side and i can say without a doubt absolutely not wet no moisture from what i can tell has saturated into the actual cover itself is it dirty yes but it's not saturated so this absolutely did its job at this point i'm going to try to brush this out to the best of my ability get some of this loose dirt out of here Not too bad. All things considered, that's pretty, pretty good. So I'll take it. Certainly better than trashing my seats, that's for sure. And so all in all, definitely effective. Very nicely done. This is a great addition for my truck. It's a great way to feel good about letting my dog have some fun and not being worried that she's gonna come back and trash my vehicle. So all in all, very, very nicely done. I do greatly appreciate it. So to the people at 4K9s, thank you very much for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.